Have you seen the title of this video? If you have, then welcome everyone. Welcome to the Master Abatman channel, where I talk about things I enjoy and things I like to critique on. Now, I don't usually like criticism, but I would like to talk about the problems of the current constitution of the Philippines, particularly the part with the unable to amending part. Because I believe that similar to the American constitution, which continuously amends itself each year, I believe that the Philippines should be amended as well. Now, look at Republic Act 3019, Section 14. Now, I don't memorize the law, but it mentions the exception of um, unsolicited gifts of insignificant value. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Now, if you, you are in the Philippines, you would know that public officers aren't allowed to receive gr gifts because the reason for this, this could be considered as a form of corruption, bribery, you know. The problem is, well, th there is an exception in the first place. A gift would be fine, but can you please specify, um... Well, of course, it's specified if that the gift comes from a family member, right? The problem is specify what measurement of the gift is. It doesn't. It only says that, um, yes, the, it only, <laughs> how do I say this? The gift should be of insignificant value. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> so if I give him a paperclip, is that a gift? If I give him, like, um, I, I'm his parent or whatever, is that, uh, and I give him, like, I don't know, uh, some cupcakes, is that a gift? Now, it, the exception only states for people who are not in the fourth degree of consanguinity or something like that, which means they shouldn't be relatives. Does that mean that if I... For example, a stranger gives a politician a very small gift, like cupcakes. Cupcakes. Is that considered a gift? Is that considered small or big? It was never specified. Now, that's where the problem arises. Now, let's talk about legal loopholes. I'm not gonna edit this video, so I can't place. Just imagine words here. Legal loopholes, then the rainbow here. Imagination. Okay. What is a legal loophole? Well, essentially, this is like a weapon in the Philippine in Philippine law, wherein politicians tend to change the law, essentially to not change. They make they purposefully make it vague instead. Now, is it a bad thing? Well, no, because it allows for flexibility and it avoids rigidness. But these po clever little politicians know which, which part of the law to um, omit and to not omit. Now, take a look at this. If a law is essentially, well, vague enough, and there's a loophole that they can abuse, is that still technically a law? The problem with that is that laws in the United States, in comparison, become more specific over time because of the allowance for amendments. Now, it tr I truly do suggest that the Constitution should be amended in some ways, but not to change the Constitution. The Constitution should stay as is because that is the law. The problem is, should it be amended? Yes, it should. That is my belief. Now take a look at this. I'm going to cut the video here. Seven Wine Five Seven talks about the legality of illegally appointed public officials to be allowed to do well, well to get away with plunder. What is plunder? It is accession. It's essentially like, okay, layman's terms. It's like stealing from government funds. That's a bad thing. That's a form of corruption. Now, what is the problem that arises from that? 
look at the some bills uh, that are uh, rewritten to be vague or uh, the constitution when it comes to political dynasty which is also purposefully vague or how about the very controversial anti-terrorist act which has the idea of terrorism to be also very vague what do you see that is common between these these uh, laws they're vague why are they vague well i can't exactly say that it is on purpose neither can i uh, say anything bad about it but it makes you really think right they are they are vague they are all vague what does this allow for loopholes loopholes would essentially allow the government not the government the politicians the public officials in the government to pretty much do whatever they want hey steve have you have you written the the loophole for me to be able to get free ice cream in the the cafeteria sure thing john be doing that later now when you think about it look at steve and john they have those conversations in the legal office i'm not sure but it makes you really think right from experience i can't say anything about that really enough but it would be very useful if i was able to to tell my experience sadly i can't now let's talk about the ethics of public service well the idea of ethics in public service is supposed to be like it's supposed to um political thought um it's supposed to reconcile both legality and morality as one observing these laws legality side it's fine but morally it's not reason for this when you think about it there are lots of laws that allow for this to happen or that to happen or it's vaguely pronounced as this or it's vaguely called that anyone can be um attacked in the philippines for this anyone can be charged for this anyone can be charged for that i'm being as general as possible so that i won't be considered as one of these people why well, that's the problem with the Philippine politics. I do believe that the amendments in the constitu Constitution should be allowed. I really do believe that public officers do have a heart. The problem is there are bad public officers out there who abuse that power. So what do we do about it? I remember that there was a start that I experienced. I'm not going to talk about relative or anything. I'm going to talk about a public officer I once met who came from Manila. Sorry for the change of place, but there's a better soundproof room. The problem, okay, not the problem. The good thing that happened here was that while we were walking home, my mother and I were walking home to uh, from groceries, I think, or something, I don't remember. But we were carrying a lot of cupcakes. Now, suddenly, there were these two public officers who went to the rescue and helped us go home because it was dark, it was quarantine, and we really needed help. And we tried offering him the cupcakes, them the cupcakes. I won't say the actual gender there. I won't say if I was lying or not with the him or her. But this person denied the cupcakes. What does that tell us? What that, what that tells us is that since that person denied the cupcakes, they do have a heart. Is that the idea of avoiding such implications of loopholes and problems in the Philippines is that it starts with the individual, regardless of who you are, whether you be a public officer or you're just a person. It starts with the individual and the idea of allowing yourself to be corrupt. Whether it be from power, 
or whether it be as a morally corrupt person because he clearly had the power to do it to take it but he didn't because even though it was such a small gesture of humanity he denied it he sacrificed why because he knew it was illegal whether or not he was doing it because to protect his image we don't know but that was a nice gesture nice form of acceptance that he actually denied the gift he just wanted to help that's it period i'm not saying i'm not glorifying him i'm not saying that he is perfect i'm not saying that he's exactly the guy who i've been looking for this whole time he could be the savior no it was just a guy in his car helped us home well jeep because yeah and don't worry it, it's not it's not scary at all that he just randomly picked up picked us up um he actually had an id with him <laughs> and also it was an open jeep and um there are cameras in our barangay so it's it's fine guys don't worry but it really makes you think no it really makes you think about the problems of our politics what do we do about it it starts with the individual just be a good person i'm not saying i'm a good person i'm just saying stay good guys or else but yeah whether you're a public officer or not whether you're just a normal citizen or a military officer or a, 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 a yeah whatever a lawyer even be good i believe in you guys okay okay i'm not saying anything bad from these laws this is just a critique video these laws aren't aren't purposefully vague i'm not saying that I'm not either I'm not also saying they are unintentionally vague just saying they exist and they are vague can we do something about it of course we can starts with here and here okay thank you